English Test GESA Grade 5 Trinity College London For indefinite leave to remain in the UK Permanent Settlement British Citizenship Naturalization and Permanent Residency Self-Secure English Language Tests Yeah Myself First topic point Is one of the things my family mm. My free time activities mm -hmm. My free time activities. Yeah. Mm. My job. My job. Mm -hmm. My house. My house. And my last special occasion. And my last. Uh, is that a recent celebration? Or what yeah. do you want to say? My recent celebration? Uh, uh, I see my mom after you... five years. You can say a special day in my life, right? A special, okay. Yeah, a special day in my life. Uh, yes, and a special day in my life. Uh, special day in my life. Okay, sir. Um, I would like to ask you, do you want this lesson to be recorded with video or without video? Uh, without video. <laughs> That video. Okay. Uh, you want your voice, right? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's start. Ready? Yeah. Okay. This is Trinity College London GESE graded examinations in spoken English. My name's Angelina. What's your name? Uh, my name is Brian Gonzalez. What's your topic's title for today? Uh, my topic title is myself. What are your five topic points? Uh, my family, my free time activities, my job, my house, and my special day. All right. Could you please tell me something about your job? Well, I work in a kitchen. Uh, I work in there from the last four years. Uh, every day I learn something new because. I feel that I'm a child and I didn't know so much experience in the kitchen. And it's something that I like. Okay. Um, could you please tell me something about your family? Well, uh, well, I got a short family. Uh, I just got my, my mother, my father and my grandma. Uh, well, now I'm a little adult and I got my wife and my son and my babies coming as well. All right. Do you think family is important? Well, for me, it's the most important thing. Uh, without the family, you cannot do many things. They're a big part of the, of the life. How long it's been? How long it's been you've lived in the UK? Uh, I have around six years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. around six years. All right. And uh, could you tell me what in what part of UK do you live? Uh, I live in closer to Manchester and Leeds. I live around 20 minutes away from Leeds. I don't I don't like the city center. I prefer be outside. If I need something from the city center, I just go in 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, so could you please tell me something about a special day in your life? Well, my special day, it was one month ago. I don't see my mom and my sister for seven years because I have to go out from my country, my home country. And well, I, they are in Spain now, and I surprised them in Spain. It's something that I was excited because I got a son, and my family didn't know. Well, they didn't know my son before, but we went like we went for holidays, and to see them, it was something really good because they meet my family, they meet my son. I see them after seven years, and yeah, it was really 
I don't know how to say it. it's a massive war. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is okay. exciting it can be. Would you like to change your job in the future? Uh, yes. I, obviously, we have to, I, I think that we have to improve always. And I got a good job now because I got many benefits, many benefits of my company, but I think that always we have to improve on the life. We have to always go to the to the top. And yeah, now and now I'm not allowed to move because I have shooting to do first, but yeah, in the future I'm sure that I wanna do it. Right. Have you ever been to any carnival? Well, in the UK, no. I see few news few days ago that they celebrate carnival here, but I, I didn't know that they celebrate here. But in my home country, I went for many parties. They they normally do massive party. They play with water. Oh, they dance. It's, it's a different system than here. Okay. Uh, what journey will you be taking soon? Sorry? Could you tell me about a journey you will take soon? Uh, well, I no idea. No idea. Journey yes. means like, where would you like to travel soon in the future? Journey, J-O-U-R-N-E-Y. Yeah. Like, are you planning to take a journey in the future? Yes, you can say I would yeah, want well, to travel. Yeah, I, I, don't have, I, I don't have any destination now. Yeah, mm -hmm. but mm, me and my wife are planning go every year to meet something new. I don't know, I don't know what's the next the next country to to visit it, but we have to plan. We have to look in new places to to go next year. Okay, all right, that's very nice. This is the end of part one. Just want to tell you something in here that the examiner can ask you absolutely irrelevant questions also, right? Not related to your points. And the examiner can finish the test within four to five minutes also. So do not get upset if the exam finishes within four minutes and you feel that, oh, he did not ask me anything. This means it completely depends on the examiner to assess you, okay? they. If they they think that you're good in two minutes, you're good to go, right? So it just completely depends on the examiner how they want to conduct the exam, right? So there's no particular time frame for the test. And it's very, right. I would say it's very subjective. Subjective um, with the perspective of examiner because they are judging you, you know, they are assessing you if you're good or not. By the way, for me, you're very good. I'm sure you'll pass with a double A, that's say distinction. Now let's move to part two. I'm going to ask you some questions about entertainment. Uh, have you ever attended any wedding receptions? Uh, yes, I went in my home country. I went to a few of them. I think that two or three of them, but here in the UK, never. What about you? Did you went to any wedding reception? Uh, no, it's been a long time. I haven't, but I would be going to a wedding reception next month. Okay, you have to invite me. I'm going to go to one. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, could you tell me what usually happens on wedding receptions in your country? Uh, well, uh, normally they, well, they go to the church, they get married. And after everyone go to to a to a room, a massive room, and they may party. It can be seven, eight, or ten hours. It can start at seven p.m. and it can start at three a.m. Uh, and everyone dance, drink, and everyone pass a good time with the with the people that get married. What kind of gifts do bride and groom get? Uh, well, everything depends on the people, mm, the, their friends, family, but you can buy a, a, a spa day, a wines, and you can give money, 
uh, do people give the uh, few travels present mm -hmm. uh, by the fly everything depends on the people and and how closer you are from the from the people okay. as well okay do you like to celebrate birthday parties uh yes i like it i, I like mm, get all my family and friends closer i like i'm very noisy i like dance and everything and normally when it's my birthday and we got the the chance we normally celebrate at home or we uh, we hire a, a hire a big room and we meet with there and we pass five or six hours doing doing funny things and enjoying the life okay all right uh how do you usually invite people to birthday parties uh well i just call them by phone or just send a message or if I see them outside, I just say, oh, it's my birthday tomorrow and you have to go. I need you there. <laughs> I, I normally don't pass any any car. That's not common for me. Yeah. How many people do you usually invite? Well, here because we are not many people, uh, we normally go parties around 30 people. But if that's in my home country, it's a little more. It can be 70 or 80 because there are all, all the friends and most closer family as well. Okay, all right. Um, thank you. Can you ask me one or two questions about birthdays? Uh, well, uh, when is your birthday? My birthday is on 18th of August. I think of all with us a few days ago. Yeah, like 20 days ago. Back, yeah. like. How old are you? Uh, well, that's something very personal. Okay. Yes. Well, let, let's say I mean, I'm just kidding. I'm 36. <laughs> I'm 36 years old. Nice. No worries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Now, there could be some questions about traveling and transport, so I just want to ask you about that. Could you tell me some something about the transport that you used for traveling to the examination center? Well, uh, when I go to the examinations, examination center, I plan go by train uh, because I feel that it's more faster and I don't have to drive. <laughs> I don't have to find a parking space or, or anything like that. I just go in train and come back in train. I think that is more easier. Okay. Because the destination center is in the in the town center. It's the most busy area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So do you have an electric car or a fuel car? It's a fuel one. Maybe in the future, I, I want to have a electric one. Mm -hmm. So how come... Um, an electric car is different from the other one that works on the field. Uh, it's something new. All the things new normally are better. And um, you don't spend in, in fuel. In the electricity is yeah, it's normally much more more cheaper. And um, it's more more comfort as well. The new the, the electric car usually because they are new new brands, new cars. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was brilliant. Okay. Thank I you. hope you can understand the types of questions that the examiner can ask you. It could be from extremely irrelevant to something very much related to your exam. Right? Like uh, these questions have been so common about electric cars and stuff. How did you travel to the examination center? And that's all. I don't think so. You should be afraid. When do you have your exam? Thank you. When? When's your exam? Uh, I don't book the day yet, but I plan to do it on the week of the 10th. I think that yeah. I got two days yes. today. Off Any that questions week. that you'd like to ask me, you may. Uh, I'm a little confused with the last question, the my last topic. I don't know what put in there. Espe it can be a special day of my life. You think that that's right? Uh... Last question, like last topic, you can. Sorry, yeah, last topic, yeah. Last topic point: my house, my job, my. Uh... My last special, my my special day. 
special day. If you want to go, if you want to remove that, pick something else. You can go with my favorite food as you you, you work in the kitchen. I, I'm sure you're very well acquainted with food. Yeah. You can go with my favorite food or maybe if you want to. What do you want to say? You're not happy with the topic, my special day? No. I'm happy with the with the with the topic because I feel that that's something easy for me. That was that's what I'm looking for because I have to talk something that I know completely all the words. But I don't know how which name I can put in there to talk about that topic. Uh, you want? To, I understand you want to talk about the fifth point. Okay. Yeah. I can understand you want to ask me that what point I should choose. I know I want to talk about a special yeah. day when That's I, what I uh, <laughs> so you, you can go with either, uh, what, what's on your mind? You tell me, I can refine it. For you. What I have you written? It, it, I put that one, my last special day, my last special occasion, because I think that it was, just you can say my there. recent special occasion. That's also fine. My recent, my recent special as well. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, one. I last that. is also fine. My last special occasion means a recent special occasion is like an event. Okay, so uh, you can say a special day in my life. You know that is like a special day in my life. That is about yourself. So a special day in your life is when you met your mo mother and your sister after such a long time. Yeah. Right. And he might ask you what happened on that day. What did you do on that day? Something like it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I prefer that one. So even if you would still have any confusions, you can text me what sounds good. If you feel that last uh, recent occasion, um, you know, that doesn't make sense. Right. Occasion in here doesn't add up. It's much better that you can tell. A special day in my life because that's about you. A special day in my life. I prefer After... that one that you said, a special day in my life. Yes, a special day in my life because the, myself, right? So I'm telling about a special day in my life, right? My free time activities, my job, my house, my family, right? A special day in my life. Yeah. Okay? Go with that for one. Thank you so much for joining me, uh, Brian. It was a pleasure meeting you. I will be cutting your video off and putting your audio on uh, All right. YouTube. So yes, you can also watch yourself and observe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the help. Bye.